Good morning, people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for coming in the room. Good morning. Good morning, people. Good morning. Hey, replay viewers. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Pastor, thanks for coming in the room. Replay viewers, thank you ever so much for um coming in the room. Appreciate you as always, right? Appreciate you as always. Listen, excuse me. Um, listen, my name is Mercy Mars Jenkins, and I'm a spirit-led Christian life coach, right? And and I empower women to get out of their wilderness experience right into the promised land, right? So that's me. I'm all about helping people reach their promised land. What is their promised land? Their promised land is where there's health, where there's wealth, where there's strength, where there's joy, where there's peace of mind, right? I'm a life coach. So I work in all those areas. And some of you guys is looking for a way of actually quitting your job so that you can um, transition into entrepreneurship, right? Start a business from scratch. So if that's you, then definitely um, follow me. Let me put up these follows and ask for shares. And when you come on the replay, thank you, right? Thank you for tweeting it out. I appreciate that very much, all right? And, and um, giving me the hearts, all right? So thanks very much. So listen, what are we talking about today? Well, you know, on Tuesdays, we do transformation tips, okay? And pretty much I'm a transformation coach. I love to see people um, transform. Hey, Miss LGB1, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming in the room. All right, so Tuesdays we do transformation tips, right? Okay, so today I want to talk about the power of impartation. Now, I, I taught on this yesterday, right? I taught on this yesterday. Okay, that's the word for the month, okay? Said Apostle John Eckhart. That's the word for the month. And you know, hey, sweetie, hey. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you. And um, if you're a first timer on my scope, please let us know where you're coming from so we can um, welcome you, welcome you, welcome you in the scope room. All right. This is um, on um, every Monday to Friday around 8, 10 and 8 a.m. Eastern time. I always do like a powwow, right? Okay. I always do a powwow, right? To get us going for our day. Okay. So that's right. So the power of impartation. Okay. So I talked on this yesterday. The importance of this month was a month that it was going to be a transference. This month is a month that is going to be a, re a release, okay? So, and it comes in many forms, right? It comes in many forms. First of all, you're important to yourself, okay? So you've got to be very careful. If you've got the negative committee, you've got to sack them and you've got to replace them. Nobody's going to do that work. Checking in from Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo, woo, woo. Well, well, thank you, man, for coming in the room. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming in. And if you haven't already um, shared, then please do share. If anything that I'm saying resonates with you, if it resonates with you, okay? Okay. So g deal with the negative committee, right? Cut them off. But it means that you have to go hard and you got to go hard and speak in positivity into your mind. Hey, Sister Barbara, thanks for coming in the room, right? So that's one of the things that you got to do. So impartation. All right. I talked about it yesterday and just, um, just as I left, I went into my class. I told you guys I got my class. And so I take this class, right? I take this class. It's, um, it's a, um, I think it's a 10 week class. I take this class on Mondays and I never really speak up or anything like that. I just absorb. I absorb. But true, I just taught impartation. I said to myself, listen, I can't get some. I gotta get something, right? I gotta get something, and so that's that's a lot with um a lot a lot with you guys too as well, right? You know, you gotta wrestle just like Jacob. Jacob had to wrestle with the angel, meaning you gotta go, you gotta be aggressive, you gotta say something. You can't just you know, just like whole humming around, right? Just you know, beating to the same regular drum. You gotta beat it hard, right? So you gotta go hard. You gotta say something different or do something different, okay? In order to get an impartation, you gotta position yourself in order to get it right? So I had to reposition myself. True, I just taught it. And so I told the people, I told my coach, I said, listen, I need help. Okay. So that's one of the first things, right? In order to receive something, you've got to position your heart. And I positioned my heart to say, I don't have all the answers and I don't know everything. So therefore I need help. Can you help a sister out? And guess what? Ideas start flooding through. The support start coming through. Um, so now I've got, they've given me an idea and they showed me where I was missing out on value and show me where, where I really, um, can reign and help a lot of people, right? So they gave me a campaign, but that hardly happened. True. I said, I need some help. Okay. And so sometimes we don't want to admit that we need help because, you know, you're the expert or, you know, 
Yeah, you're just the expert. You're just the know all. You know, you know what to do. Okay. But sometimes we get stuck. Remember I taught, and hey Liz, thanks for coming in the room. Remember I taught about being stuck. Just when you think you're not stuck, guess what? You're stuck. Okay. When you think you're not stuck, you're stuck. Right. So I just want to encourage you that there's people around you. You are in the vicinity of groups, whether it's church, whether it's a course that you're doing, whether it's just a group of people. You start pulling from them. This is the month. I believe this is a double portion. That's what I believe. I believe it's a double portion of grace. There's a double portion of blessing. Like whatever you're looking for, there's an extra grace to be able to pick it up and run with it. Okay. So you've got to be intentional this month. Don't waste it away. Don't waste your energy away. Don't waste your effort. Okay. I believe this is the month that there's a super added to your natural effort. Whatever your natural effort to do. Okay. God is going to grace it. Okay. So I really believe that. I believe it. Okay. So I don't, so <laughs> that's right. No wasting time. No wasting time. And let me tell you how we waste time by making excuses. We waste time by making excuses, right? We make excuses and you can't make money, make excuses at the same time. So think about that one. All right. Real change and transformation comes when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. If you're not sick and tired and you're comfortable, well, that's one of the reasons why not happening. Okay. Because you're steady making excuses why things shouldn't be happening. Okay. So I'm encouraging you transformation tip now, the impartation. So ask for it, put a demand in it. Okay. That's something that you have to do. I know. Right. Okay. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but let me tell you something. Change can't come unless you put a demand on it because the pain is greater. And because the pain is so great, you're forcing yourself to find the answers. Okay. So I hope that supports you. I want to encourage you to go out and be aggressive. This is the month in which you'll be blessed. This is the month in which you can have. Okay. So surround yourself with like-minded people is what you need to do is change your environment, the environment in your headspace and the environment in your physical space. Change that, right? Be intentional about it. Include certain people in your space. Make a phone call. Call certain people that you know is positive, right? Listen to people that you know is positive and gets you moving and going, right? This is the month that I believe is a get going month. Last month, we was talking about being stuck, okay? Now, if you, if you, if you shifted in your thinking, then this is the month that you're getting going. This is the month that there's a launch in, okay? Remember, a launch is not the end result. The launch is the beginning. It's the launch is like stepping out. The launch is when, um, is when you start something, is when you initiate. That's the launch, okay? So be looking out for how you're going to launch, okay? Monday, we're going to be launching out on intentional. That's the campaign. It's an intentional campaign, all right? And then on Sundays, I'm going to be doing church hurt campaign, right? After church, we're going to talk about church hurt, church hurt recovery, okay? A lot of people have been telling me, nah, mas, nah, mas. nah that, that series is blessed. I only did it just to release it and get my book out of the way, yeah? But a lot of people are like, nah, nah, not having it, not having it because it blessed me so, right? And the funny thing that Periscope and Facebook Live is doing, I only see, I only see a couple of people in the room, yeah? But hey, Roxanne, how you doing, Roxanne? Um, I only see like a couple of people in the room, right? But there's more people in the room. And I, I, it doesn't even notify me when people steps in. Only certain people, but the rest of the folks, it doesn't notify me, okay? So I just want to encourage you. This is the mother get going. Last month, last month, month good morning, sweetie. Good, good morning. Listen, I had a lot of fun over you and your families. I want to appreciate you for um in, embracing me. I want to appreciate you for inviting me. Um, I really had a great time. All right. And if you guys don't know, I actually met Roxanne right here with you guys. Roxanne is somebody that I don't know, but it's somebody that um she opened up her heart so we could chill. All right. So um so yeah, so in um begin this is the month of being intentional. Last month was the month of being stuck and, and being in a rudder and um not being able to move. Okay. So if you shifted your thinking last month, this is the month in which you can begin to move. Remember the launch. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Ah, kisses to mummy, nephews and nieces and all, and bestie Raquel, okay? <laughs> and obviously to you too as well. <laughs> but um, but yeah, this is the mother. Get going. So don't get left behind. Do not get I want you on that rocket ship, okay? Don't get left behind, okay? 
you're no longer stuck. Okay. So now we've got to get going. All right. God bless you. Well, thank you too, sweetie. All right. Well, listen, God bless you. And, um, if this supports you, um, share it out, um, heart it up as you've always been doing. I appreciate you very much. And, um, I'm going to be coming out of here, but, um, oh, today's Tuesday. What have I got Tuesday? I think I do have some calls this evening. But I'm going to try and come on. If it's like 20 minutes, time to move. No more getting, yeah, no more getting stuck, Roxanne. No more getting, rock, no more getting stuck. Now, this is the month intentional. This is the month of double portion of grace. This is the month that you really want to be starting something because there's going to be like the wind of God is going to like carry you through. You know what? I said I was going to pray in the scope. That's what I told the Lord. I said I was going to stop praying. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just give you praise. We thank you, oh God, for you are the king over our lives. And Father, I thank you that you said you crown of this year, the months, the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds have been crowned by your glory, by your um, by your sovereignty. And so Father God, I just pray, Lord, that you begin to stir the hearts of your people, that you begin to release an impartation in the hearts of your people, oh God, that they'll be carried by the four winds of God, that the four winds of God will prepare Help them and move them, oh God, according to your perfect will and according to your predestined purpose. Father, you have a purpose for your people. I pray, Lord, that um that purpose shall come to fruition even this month. Whatever you have even um for for whatever you have even set aside for them this month, that they shall enjoy it, they should embrace it, they shall walk in it, they shall talk talk of it, oh God. They shall talk of the mysteries, they shall talk of the revelation, they shall talk of the um the testimony in which you have released this month of oh God. Let this be a month of double blessing, a double measure of your grace. Father, I decree and declare a double measure of your grace, oh God. And I pray, Lord, if the people haven't begun to ask, because you said, Lord, that we have not because we ask not. I pray that the, the, the asking that you're looking for, that it be at the forefront of their hearts and their minds. And I pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will intercede upon their, on, on their behalf so that they can receive their double portion of grace. In Jesus' name, oh God, we thank you. We bless you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Double, 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 double portion for your shame. A double portion. We're going to release, we're going to um, um, believe God for a double portion. But we're not just going to believe him. We're going to wrestle for it, right? We're going to wrestle for it, yeah? Just like when I went to that conference, I said, I'm not leaving here without nothing. I didn't come for information. I came for the spiritual impartation. That's what I came for. I needed prayer. That's what I came for because you know what? That book that I'm writing ain't no regular book. That's a spiritual book, right? You love witches and warlocks and um, you love um, charismatic, um, um, I was going to say charismatic witch doctors, <laughs> but there is such a thing, right? You have them after you for exposing things in the church, right? That, that could be dangerous, right? I could get assassinated in the spirit for stuff like that. So I said, Lord, I need impartation. I need, I, I need something. I can't just be talking stuff like that and just be thinking like it ain't nothing. No, it's something, right? Not a lot of people's going to be happy about that. Okay. The victims might be happy because they're, 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 um, their experience has been validated. Yesterday, I called all of my nieces and nephews and told them they are grace to finish strong. Exactly. There you go. That's exactly right. Exactly right. We need to do it this month of May, June, halfway point. Ah. Uh -uh. And then we get sidetracked with the whole summer thing, right? And then you get sidetracked with getting the kids' uniform and then and then it's school in August, September, and then it's Thanksgiving, and then and you just wasted everything, right? So from here on, you know, because the rest of the year has a strong emphasis on family and fun and entertainment. Okay. So that's why you need to start putting your digging your foot down right now and um staking your ideas to the ground right now because they won't be moved when those seasons come in, right? So that's what you want to do. Okay. So I w I just want to encourage you to um go hard and go strong and get the help you need. I had to be humble yesterday and say I need help. Okay. Get the help you need. Get the help you need. There is help out there for you tap into it okay all right listen love you as always appreciate you as always and um god bless and um have a prosperous um a prosperous day okay have a prosperous day okay god bless and take out peace replay viewers thank you as always for coming in the room dap 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 and um don't forget to tweet it out all right god bless and take care bye